Sitting pretty David Drysdale shares sixth at the halfway stage of the Dunhill Lynx picture Getty get the latest local news straight to your inbox every day apparently, Friday was World Smile Day. It was also Heritage Awareness Day. You could say David Drysdale involved himself in both during the second round of the Dunhill Lynx Championship. He had plenty to smile about after a 5 under 67 at Kingsburns hoisted him up into a share of sixth on an 8 under aggregate. And on the heritage front well, that came from the fact that he was partnering veteran Genesis musician, Mike Rutherford, in the Prome team contest. I'm not really a Genesis fan, but he's good fun, said Drysdale. He's still touring and was actually in Berlin on Tuesday night before this. I've had some good guys this week. We were with Tycho Torres, the drummer from Bon Jovi. They've been going for 35 years and had a number one album again this year, which is quite incredible. It's great in between shots. You find yourself chatting about so many different things. They've a few stories to tell, but a lot of them are unrepeatable. They're in their 60s, but are still going strong. I don't think I'll still be doing this when I'm 60. A couple of years ago, Drysdale arrived at the Dunhill Lynx nursing a calf injury and facing a battle to keep his tour card, but a ninth place finish safeguarded his spot at the top table. This week is slightly more comfortable for Drysdale on both fronts. He has no injury concerns, and he is handily placed at 49th on the race to Dubai rankings. I'm far more relaxed than I was two years ago, that's for sure, said Drysdale who conjured a fine late surge and birdied five of his last seven holes to leap up the order. A couple of times in the last few years I've needed a result here. It's nice not to be in that position this year. I can just focus more on the tournament. On a decent day for the Scottish contingent, Stephen Gallagher, the Dunhill Lynx champion back in 2004, posted a neatly assembled Fivender 67 on the old course as he moved on to the Fivender mark. A putt of 30 feet for birdie on the first, got him up and running, but, having created a number of other birdie chances, Gallagher was left to reflect on the opportunities that got away. It could have been a 60, he declared. I missed about five birdie pots from inside 12 feet. I am happy though. Given I was three over at the turn on day one, this is not a bad position to be in. Scott Jamison Farrander and Mark Warren Threander are ticking along while rookie duo Connor Sim and Liam Johnston both finished on two-under aggregates. Paul Laurie's season could be over, though, as he withdrew with an ongoing foot injury.